Hello Floss Tube friends and welcome to a special edition video. It's that time you guys. The Halloween Cross Stitch 2021. Uh, what is this? Uh, just Cross Stitch. Halloween 2021 magazine has come out. I was lucky and went to my LNS today and um, she had it on the counter. And so I was like, oh my goodness, Denise, I did not get a call. And she goes, well, it just came in the mail today. So I, uh, and she's like, I didn't have anybody actually on my list for this. And I'm like, but you know, I always get the Halloween. So it just was a fluke that I got in. And so I thought what I would do is a video, a flip through video. Um, I have done it for the last couple of um, just cross stitch Halloween books, magazines, because uh, if you followed me for any length of time, you know that I love me some Halloween. So, um, and I like to do a flip through. So if you have not received your magazine yet, but you have a subscription for it and you just haven't received yours yet, or you still want to be surprised, please do not watch this video if you um, are you know, waiting and wanna be surprised over what's in it, or if you're thinking about buying it and you still wanna be kind of surprised at what's in here, please don't watch. Um, but if you would like to know, so my thought is I love the flip throughs because, um, you know, I have a lot of patterns. I have a lot of magazines. I have a lot of books. And my thought process is as long as there are two or more patterns in a magazine that I would like to stitch, it is completely worth it to me. Now, this magazine is $9.99 in the U.S. Uh, in Canada, it's $10.99. Um, and there are more than two patterns in here in my flip through that I did this afternoon. And, um, so, you know, for me, it's a great deal because I would pay, you know, anywhere between what are patterns, um, anywhere between six and more dollars. So yeah, I totally worth it. And when you get a screaming deal like this with so many patterns in it, so, um, like I said, if you are waiting or don't want it or you want to be surprised, please stop watching <laughs> or hopefully you've already stopped. And those who are left really would like to see what's in here. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> All right. So, uh, the front cover says that there are 50, what does it say? 50 stitchable treats, no tricks. There are 30 plus ornaments in here. And then there are six frightfully fun chapters. So in here, what they do is they section out chapters. And then in each chapter, it's kind of like a theme in that chapter. And then, then they have like, um, then outside of the chapter, and I'll show you in the book, but, or the magazine, but then they have like, um, additional um, patterns that are bigger than an ornament or just like maybe something a little different than an ornament. So the chapters are ornaments and then everything else in here. So um, now there are some new designers in here, which is really exciting to me uh, to see some new designers. There are some um, designers who always have their patterns um, or submit patterns to this. And then there's a couple that this might be their second year um, in this magazine um, because they've just been a designer for that long. And so it, uh, let's, let's get into it, okay? All right, so there are, uh, like I said, six chapters. And the first chapter is called Black Cats, so it's all about cats. And then uh, the second one is Calling All Monsters. It's super cute. The third one is Pumpkin Patch. Fourth is Trick or Treat. Fifth is Winged Things. And sixth is Witchy Stitches. Now, um, I'm gonna apologize up front. I'm gonna do my absolute best to not butcher the designer's names. And just know that these are all designed by the designer. So if I don't say designed by 
blah 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 stitch uh, designer. Um, that's what it says in the in the in the magazine designed by so so of whatever um, company they are. So I may not say that every single time, but just know that 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 they did the design. So, all right. So let's get into it. The very first chapter, and pardon my my pink stickies, but that's how we're gonna get through the pages a lot faster. <laughs> okay, the first one is black cats. So up here, this one here is called Trick or Treat Kitty, and it is by Ursula Michael of Ursula Michael Designs for Sullivan's. That's what, that one there. And then this one here, this guy here, does he not look super grumpy and oh, so, so angry? Funny enough, his name is Angry Cat. And this is a new to me designer by Anna Chinato of Stitching in the Rain, Stitching in the Rain. This one here is called Spooky Cat. And it is by L.S. Porter of Hot House Petunia Designs. Super cute. All right. This one here. Oops, sorry. That one there is called Broomstick Brigade. Stephanie Webb of Lindy Stitches. Stephanie Webb of Lindy Stitches. And then this one. Sorry. This one here. This one is called Halloween Night, and it's by Anna Chanino of Stitching in the Rain. So really, really, really cute. So this one is black, or um, what does it say? Black cats, yeah. So it's got all black cats in this one. So super, super cute. All right. Now this one, this one's, oh man. Okay, you probably can see, and you know how um, designers kind of have like um, a look, and so you can tell when you see a pattern, um, maybe who the designer is. So this one is called Have a Possum Halloween, and it is by Amanda Jennings and Ashley Anderson of the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. Very cute. Very cute. Okay, the next one is called Black Cat and Spider. That one there. Get it all in there. And this one is original artwork by Sira R. Cancel and cross-stitch adaptation by Elizabeth Spurlock. I want to say that she did one last year in the 2020 magazine as well. It was really cool. But this is really, I mean, with the spider web and just the eyeball, that purple eyeball coming out. Mm, so cute. Love that. Okay, the next one, this is, <laughs> I love this. Beware of the cat. And this one says, forget the witch, worry about the cat. <laughs> That's really cute. So this one is designed by Linda Medina of Medina Designs. Very cute, made into a pillow. Okay, and then, okay, I was so happy to see this designer in here. Um, this is Hello Kitty Surprise, and um, this design is by The Witchy Stitcher, and The Witchy Stitcher has a website, um, and I have purchased her patterns before. I've even been in um, one of her Halloween boxes, um, and just, I mean... Such cute, whimsical but um, gothic-y designs in a way. Like, very cool. Just very cool. 
And um, as soon as I saw this, I was like, oh, that has to be the witchy stitcher. And it was. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Okay, now the second chapter called Calling All Monsters. And that's what it looks like. And then we'll do an up close. Okay, let me get them right. So this one here is called Glurk the Goblin. And it's by Carolyn Manning of Carolyn Manning Designs. And then this one here, this one here is called Zombie Frog. And it's by Kathleen Burlow. Burlow. And then this one here is blue. And you probably recognize this designer, Doreen Jones. She always does, does those fun um, whimsical patterns. And then this one here is called I'm Not Really Evil by Lee Fisher of Stitchy Fish Designs. And also this one here, Let's Party, is also by Lee Fisher of Stitchy Fish Designs. So both those. And I love this one. What does this one say? I'm not really evil. I've just been in a very bad mood for 20 years. <laughs> Good Lord, I hope I don't look like that. <laughs> Being in a bad mood for 20 years. That's what happens when you have children. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, this next one is called Halloween Haunting. I'm trying to make sure I don't get patterns in there. This one's called Halloween Haunting, and it is by Nancy Greenberg of Pickle Barrel Designs. Very cute. I mean, look, there's there's the little devil, and then there's Dracula and Frankenstein. Oh, so cute. Very cute. And oh, this one's this one's kind of cool. Is this a Biscorn U? <laughs> I haven't done one of these yet. Oh, I thought that their pattern was down there. Sorry. Um, Bones and Eyes. And this one is by Oh, see, I butcher her name all the time. Evdokia Nikolivia of Panoshka. Hopefully I have at least the, the um, design company, right? Um, but how cool is that with all of those bones, the skeletons all the way around? That's so cool. Yeah, like that one. Like that one a lot. This one I really like too. This one's called Ghoul Gardens. And this one is by Nikki Ewing of Boulder Valley Stitching. I think that's a new to me designer. I think. But I really like that one. It says, welcome to the Ghoul Gardens. Enter if you dare. Vampire Villa, Zombie Island, Wolf, Werewolf Way, and Ghost Street. That's just so cute. So cute. Yeah, you're going to hear that a lot, I'm sure, in this book. Actually, you are going to hear it a lot. <laughs> okay, the next one is another chapter, and it's called um, Pumpkin Patch. And it's basically got a bunch of pumpkin themed um, ornaments. So that's kind of what I mean when they when they do their chapters, they kind of like do a theme of chapter. So let's go and do this top one here is called Spider Stitches. Is that right? Spider Stitchers, yep. Yeah. All those little spiders stitching on the on the pumpkin. How cute is that? Yeah, that's really cute. <laughs> okay, and that is done, designed by Barbie uh, Lau, Lou, Lou, something, of Twisted Willow Designs. That's really cute. Okay, this one here is called Pumpkin Baby, 
and it is by Elizabeth Spurlock of Saving Grace's Fine Needle Arts. And then this one here, this is a favorite of mine, Ready for the Party, also by Evdokia um, Nikoleva of Pinochka. I'm so sorry for butchering. Okay, this one down here is called Pumpkins for Sale by Franny Ritter of Franny Ritter Designs. And then this one here, which is Day of the Dead by Linda Medina of Medina Designs. Super, super cute. And I will say there's, there's a couple in this one that I definitely would like to stitch and they're very, will look good on my, my Halloween tree. Probably not this year. Okay. This one, I was really happy to see, um, Aaron Houston of Autumn Lane Design, uh, is it Autumn Lane Stitchery? Yes. Autumn Lane Stitchery. Um, back in the magazine, he did an awesome one last year in the 2020. And uh, so this one is Current Mood. And like I said, Aaron Houston of Autumn Lane Stitchery. He's actually got two in this magazine. So I love that. Happy, afraid, cat, angry. <laughs> oh, funny. Very funny. Okay, the next one is I'd Turn Back, and it says, I'd Turn Back If I Was You, or I Were You, sorry, sorry. I'd Turn Back If I Were You. And this design is by Kathy Burlew. Very cute. And then this one here is just called Celebrate Halloween. And this one is by also a new to me designer, Perry A. Hattie of Stichora. Very cute. Okay. Makes it so much easier when you have these little stickies on there. Don't miss anything. All right. This one here is called Spooky Friends. I love how it's done. And it's uh, designed by Pam Lewis and Susan Rum of Praiseworthy Stitches. He's really cute. And then we get into another chapter, and this one is called Trick or Treat. And um, show you, oops, all right, try and show you all of the patterns there. Binding of the book is not very, very good. Okay, so this top one here. She's not a new design. I mean, she's a fairly newish designer, but um, I believe that this is the first time that she's gotten into this just cross stitch Halloween uh, magazine. So this is by designed by Amanda May McNaughton of Ardith Design. I was really excited to see her in there, and that is a very cute. I'm totally doing that one as well. Okay, this one here is called Nightmare Before Coffee, and it is by Amy Baker of Barefoot Needle Art. And then we've got Ghoul, Ghoul Whip Hot Chocolate by Franny Ritter of Franny Ritter Designs. How cute is that? That looks super cute in the kitchen, as would this one. <laughs> And then, oops, sorry, this one here called Trick or Treat by Kathy Burlew. And then this one here called Pick Your Poison by Lee Fisher, designs, designed 
by Lee Fisher of Stitchy Fish Designs. Let's see if I can maybe get that one a little better. There we go. So this one's just kind of like a little bit of a drinky mix mash. These are like candy corns and stuff. Candy corn flowers, it looks like. That's pretty cool. Food, maybe, this one here. <laughs> okay, I was really excited to see a sampler, a Halloween sampler in here. So that's this one here. Push it back a little. Sorry. There we go. Okay, so this is called Spooktacular Sampler, designed by uh, Deborah Fasano of Historic Handworks. I like this, and I will be doing this one. So it's got the alphabet and um, the numbers up here with a pumpkin border, which is cute, and then um, a little a little house and one side says hocus with the guy with the gentleman and pocus with the lady on the other side with this beautiful house i mean look at that house and then it says the harvest moon glows round and bold in pumpkin shades outlined in gold beware what dare crawls up your sleeve for tis the night called hallows eve i love it i love it this will be getting done. This right here, worth the price of the magazine completely because you would pay well over $10 for a sampler. So, um, for a sampler chart. So, well worth the price of the book and then everything else in here is just, I mean, serious, honest to goodness gravy. Like, just awesome, just awesome. Okay, this next one is How Do You Spell Halloween? Also, really like this one. And this is designed by Christy Callahan of Turtle Bunny Creations. Again, I think a new to me designer. I don't know that I've, I've heard of her before. I'm not sure. But also a really, really cute sampler. So, um, uh, where, with the words of Halloween, it is ghost, candy, jack-o'-lantern, black cat, trick or treat, witch, haunted house, costume, and pumpkin patch. I just, I like this too. This is really cute. And after I've done a few others in here, I think that that one will also be on my list. There's so many actually on my list in here. This next one also on my list. <laughs> Uh, Haunted Fun by Ursula Michael for Sullivan. I mean, come on. And I think I have a piece of green fabric that looks real similar to that. And um, I just think it's fantastic. Just fantastic. Yep. Love it. Love it. I mean, really, this, this magazine, again, hit it out of the park. Um, kind, of, kind of impressed. All right. This one is Boo Gift Card Holder by Rona Nori. And I covered up the pattern because it was on the page. But how cute. If you're going to give, you know, the adult in your life or maybe a little kiddo in your life, um, a gift card to um, make a little gift card holder. That's adorbs. It's adorbs. All right. A new chapter. And this one's called Winged Things. I'm going to try and get the thingy over. There we go. Winged Things. So everything in here has wings. That's the theme. All right, so then let me turn the page here. Sorry for the wrestling. Okay, so this one here up at the top is called Halloween Tree 
and it's designed by Anna Chinito of Stitching in the Rain. Also would like to do this one. She's, she's got some really cute designs in here. What was that, three designs by her so far? Really like that one. Okay, this one here is called uh, Boo Bunnies by Charlotte Smythe of Charlotte's Web Needlework. Boo Bunnies, <laughs> cute. And then this one here is called Bats and Flowers. And that's by Evdokia Nikol Nikolovia of Panoshka. And then this one here, which is called Creepy Crossing, Creepy Crossing Road Design. And this is by Linda G Janine, Jinan, oh, sorry, Jenkins. And then this one here, whoopee. And that one's called Fright Night. And this is by Liz Almond at Blackwork Journey. Very cute. So really nice. Yeah. I mean, really, there's not many pages in here I'm gonna honestly say that I don't really want to do something in here. Sorry. It's July 3rd, so there goes Odin. Oh goodness, by tomorrow night he should be real beside himself. <laughs> uh, not funny. It's really not funny, but you know, we've been doing this for six years. Actually longer than that with the, the other two dogs that I have, um, or had. Um, 4th of July is just not a fun time for them. Okay, let's move on. So this next one, this is the second design by Erin Houston of um, Autumn Lane Stitchery. And this one's called Happy Halloween. And I love this. I love owls. I mean, my son loves owls more. And I do like the owls. And so at some point, this one's going to get definitely stitched up. Very cute. I mean, the colors, everything about this. I just love everything about this. So, really cute. This one is called The Owls Halloween. And this is designed by Gail Busi. Busi. Very cute love that too. Sitting there on their little perch. Okay. This one so speaks to me. I just, I don't know where I'm going to find time to do all of these. <laughs> this one is called Woeful Wreath. I mean, look at that vulture in there. Mm. Oh, I just love it. And this one is designed by Shannon Grierson of Bobbin and Fred. I think also a new design to me, designer to me. That's a clever, that's a clever name, Bobbin and Fred. Um, as soon as I saw that, I was like, that is clever. But also a really cool design. Like, look at the flowers in there. And the design and the, you know, there's a spider web with, is that a mouse up there? Mm -mm -mm. Very cute. Yep. Just seriously hit it out of the ballpark. I was so happy to see a Karen Kluba of um, Rosewood Manor design in here. She did one, she did uh for sure one in last year's and it was an ornament and it was really cool. Uh, I mean, I'm in the middle of stitching that one, but did she also do another? I'd have to go look, but very glad to see her in here again. This one's called Blackbirds on a Pumpkin. And look at that. So pretty. I love it. I love this. So Karen Kluba of Rosewood Manor. Do, do, do. All right, 
last chapter. And this one is called Witchy Stitches. Let me see if I can. Okay, I love this one. There are several on this page that are in my wish list of need to stitch at some point. So pretty cool. All right, let's get into them. So this top one, mm -hmm, this is one that I'd really like to do. I mean, look at those faces. Oh, so cute. This one's called Hip Hip Hooray. And this is done by, designed by Cassandra. Um, Cassandra Conforti of Fairy Wool in the Wood. And I feel like I'm missing part of her name. Yes, Cassandra Kavalka Conforti of Fairy Wool in the Wood. Oh, poor Odin. Okay, this next one is called Trouble Driving a Stick. And it's by Franny Ritter of Franny Ritter Designs. Sorry. And then this one here. Okay, I love this and I'm going to tell you why. Um, it's called Broom Parking and it's by Jennifer Rodriguez of Always Time to Stitch. Also a new to me designer, I believe. Okay, a couple of years ago, I bought these really cool buttons that are brooms. And so instead of stitching the brooms, or maybe I'll stitch the brooms, but then put the broom um, buttons over top. Um, I know my LNS still has those buttons and I just think that it's spectacular. So as soon as I saw this pattern, I was like, oh, okay, though, that's, that's what they were being saved for. So I love this, love this. Okay, the next one here is called Witchy and it's by Rona Nori. And then this one here is La Lazy Witch. And I'm super happy to see her in, in a magazine as well. This is by Ryan Mack of Wild Violet Cross Stitch. Now she's been designing for a while and has, um, um, what is it called? I don't remember what it's called, um, but you go on and you, you uh, put an amount for the, what you feel the pattern is worth and that's what you pay. Oh my goodness, what is it called? I don't remember. Anyways, she's been doing that for a really long time and um, so I've seen, I've seen her patterns quite a bit and I, part of her newsletter, so I see, I see her new patterns when they come up and it's really, it's awesome to see her in this magazine. Anyways, that's where I was going. All right, um, we are getting close to the end. Last couple of patterns. This one here is called Little Little Pumpkin Witch. And this is by Anna Gatova of um, Art Mishka Cross Stitch. Art Mishka Cross Stitch, yeah. Also, I believe a new to me designer. These are cute. These are um, Halloween gnomes. Let's see. Halloween gnomes. And it's by also by Jennifer Rodriguez of Always Time to Stitch. And I just think that they would be really, really cute if you section them out and then put them in like those little, you know, those little tiny itty bitty frames and just had those out in a, oh, I have, I have thoughts, <laughs> but I thought that they were cute and I love gnomes. Gnomes are adorbs. Mm -hmm. All right, last pattern and it's an awesome one. And this one is by Rona Nori. She had quite a few patterns in here, which was awesome. And it's called Hocus Pocus and it says, Hocus Pocus, I need coffee to focus. Again, super cute doing this one. Very cute. So as you can see, this book had 
a lot of patterns in it um, that were just spectacular. And um, I mean, well, to me, well worth the money. There were a couple of larger charts in here that for $9.99 for the magazine, for me to have, you know, purchased, they would be nine to twelve dollars at minimum to buy that pattern. So right there it paid for the magazine. So I think this this magazine knocked it out of the park as did last year's. I was super happy with last year's. This one's a pretty good one too. So lots lots to stitch in here for me, my opinion. And uh, so anyways, I hope you enjoyed the fi flip through. And if you uh, were kind of on the fence about getting this magazine, now maybe that pushed you over the edge. If you like Halloween and Halloween stitching. Um, yeah, so look for some of these designs. Uh, maybe, I think a couple of them I might get started in the near, little near future here. I need to finish a couple of patterns first. <laughs> I have a lot of whips on the go, but um, I, you should see a few coming up because, you know, Halloween's coming up and I do have a tree that needs to, needs to be decorated. So maybe a couple of these will get done for this year, or at the very least, maybe finish a few from last year. There's that, or even the year before, still that. <laughs> all right, that is all for tonight. I hope you enjoy. I will actually be back tomorrow to do my regular video and I have so much to talk about then. So I hope that I will see you then and have a wonderful evening. Until then, bye-bye.